Hi, Amy. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. I just got off of a post licensing class, so I'm like, the... <laughs> oh man, those those exams and those practice exams are 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 no joke. I definitely don't miss that. I I came from well, I come from mortgages, so I was a I was an LO. Um, I was a lender for six years, and I just hated that exam every year. I just hated it. So much to study, right? Well, luckily, well, luckily there's no exams right now. So, are you serious? Everything's postponed, or what? Yeah, yeah because of COVID, because they're not they're doing everything online. So I've been wow. in post since April twentieth. Friday's my last day. Wow, wow. So, how long have you been in the business? Um, I got my license in October. Wow. So you're, you're fairly new then. Yeah, I'm new. <laughs> really, really cool. Okay. So, um, what are you doing as far as like advertising or marketing or just word of mouth? Like, what do you got going on? Um, just, I'm actually, um, I don't know if I should be telling you this or not. I'm actually switching firms. Um, June 1st, so I'm kind of laying low right now because Good. a lot of my clients are personal clients. I don't want to have to leave them. Stop. Sorry okay. if you hear my child. No, no worries. Um, I don't want to have to leave that behind because they're my clients. Like, they're my people. Yeah. Um, so I have one coming up, and then after that, I'm going to um, I'm going to just switch over to another firm. Mm. Okay. Cool. Cool. So – do you have any questions on social media marketing or, or just how, how to be building your business? Because one thing I, I can tell you is just, I mean, I, I have an extensive marketing background and I don't want to bore you to death with that. But um, as I mentioned, I, I spent a good amount of time in the mortgage industry from, from 2010 to 2016, just closing mortgages and, and funding deals for, you know, real estate agents all across the country. You know, I had, I had a ton of them that would come to our bank and, do their deals and and I just built relationships with a ton of them and and it wasn't until 2016 when I left mortgages and started helping them with social media marketing and Facebook advertising so when you look at when you look at my my personal page like if I just kind of my personal page over here my friend count can you see that 4994 yeah every single one of them Amy except for one which is my actual wife but 4993, <laughs> every single one of them, and it's a public list, like you can look at every single friend, 4993 are real estate agents. So since 2016, wow. I've literally, not only have I helped a ton of agents with all this stuff, but, but the reason why I'm even showing you that is because I've literally have been seeing what thousands and thousands of agents are doing when it comes to marketing their real estate business on social media. Like I see it by the thousands, like you're new to the business and, and you have a certain perspective and, and how you think you should be marketing online or maybe promoting your business. You're seeing it from maybe your perspective and you're probably seeing it from maybe your broker or maybe a couple agents that you're, you know, you're friends with, maybe a couple colleagues, maybe you're getting advice from a handful of people. I'm literally seeing what thousands are doing. And right. I'm here to tell you, 99.999% are missing the basics. And yeah. so I'm here to really dumb it down for you and, and really just show you some basic steps that you can implement yourself, things you want to do to really, to really update and give your, your page a facelift. Um, now that we're in business, now that we're building a social media business, now that we're building a real estate business, there's a few things you want to do to your pages before you even start promoting. Um, and so I've just kind of boiled it down over the past four years, you know, since 2016, I just knew that every single real estate agent and, and just business owner in general, like if you're a local business owner or if you're just a, a, a nationwide business owner, it almost doesn't even matter. 10 out of 10 of us that are building some type of business on social media are most likely a local business owner. Unless you're a big brand and you're nationwide and you're servicing anyone and everyone, that's one thing. But but nine out of 10 real estate agents are focused on their backyard. You know, nine out of 10 are maybe just farming a couple zip codes, right? So is that, is that you? Are you kind of looking to maybe just focus on, on your area? Is that where you're gonna be doing deals? 
I mean, um, the Fayetteville area in general, which is large. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Fayetteville though, that's my point. One city, right? One, one area. But the thing about, about social media is the fact that once you do start to take this friend count up, it doesn't even matter how many you have, whether you have 200, whether you have 2000, it doesn't matter. And, and it doesn't just apply for Facebook like this. This applies for every social media platform, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, your Twitter, your Facebook, your personal page, your Facebook business page. It does not matter. As you take that friend count up, 99% of them are not going to know you and 99% of them are going to live across the country. So that is our friend list. That is our LinkedIn connections. Those people are following us on Instagram when 99% of them don't even live in the area, don't even live in the state. Like you and I, we're connected now on Facebook. We're friends. I'm in California. You're in North Carolina. And so what starts to happen is real estate agents will come onto social media and start posting their listing and start posting their open house when 99% of the folks who are seeing it don't care. Mm -hmm. And that's how people are building their business. And it, and it, and it blows yeah. my mind. And I'm like, man, and then I talk to them. So, so at this point, all I'm going to do is really save you some time and save you some headache. Because at this point, I've literally spoken to thousands of agents on this exact topic. And again, 99% are missing the basics. And they're wondering why they're not capturing leads. They're wondering why they're not closing more escrows. And they're wondering why they're not getting the exposure on social media because the way I look at this is all we're doing is we're throwing spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks. And because 99% of these folks don't even live in the area, nothing's sticking. And so right. I just hate to see someone like you, brand new, coming into the business in just October. I'd hate to see you spend the next three years trying to post all over social media because that's what your broker's telling you. That's what your coach is telling you. That's what these social media gurus are telling you. You got to go Facebook live. You got to go out there and promote your business. It's like, man, really? 99% of these folks don't even live in the area. You know, and, and, and a lot of people, you know, help with, with people who relocate. And I get it. You know, you can help anyone relocate. I totally get it. But that's not your ideal client. Like if I'm in California and I'm relocating, let's say my wife and I, we want to move to Florida where you're not even licensed. But I reach out to Amy and I say, hey, Amy, you're my buddy. You and I are friends now. My, my wife and I, we want to move to Florida. Now, I know you're licensed for North Carolina, but hey, can you make it happen? And you're not going to turn me down. Like, you won't turn me down. You'll probably take on the deal. You'll make your split. You'll work it out. But I'm not your ideal client, right? So relocating and, and holding your breath and, and, and hopefully someone comments and wants to move that's not how we're going to build a business on social media, especially in 2020. So there, again, there's just a, a handful of basic steps that I always just, you know, consult agents on and I give them my time in exchange for a good review. And that's kind of all I'm in it for at this point. Um, but maybe again, maybe I can just save you some time and save you some headache on, you know, spinning your wheels. So do you have any like basic questions or, or, or should I just kind of show you what these steps are and, 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 and what they kind of mean to your brand? Um, yeah, so I'm working on branding myself. I got logos Good. and all that stuff. I obviously Good. just can't post it right now. Um, I am working on farming. Um, Good. And I haven't farmed anything yet, but okay. um, there's a lot of neighborhoods around here where, uh, like my best friend's neighborhood right down the road, for example, like for sale signs are popping up everywhere. So I'm like, mm -hmm. eh. <laughs> yeah. I need to go ahead and send something um the only issue that we have right like that i have right now is we're limited to the like in the fayetteville area for example we're limited to the amount of like the locations based on what we have mls data for mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i'll have more access to other areas once i switch over um but it's not going to be a huge area or it's not going to be a huge amount of areas. Yeah. Um, but I basically have just started doing like, I use Hootsuite um, and I basically just started. Um, sorry, my client just messaged me. Um, 
I basically just started scheduling at least one post a day. Um, and I've, you know, done research online trying to figure out like the best times of the day to post and things like that. So I'm just like getting started with that. Um, I did run that ad, but I turned it off this morning because I had got like seven page likes and I think it was averaging like a dollar a like. And I yeah. Was like, you don't hey, want to no. do that. Yeah. Turn that off. Um, I'll help you with that one. Yeah. That that's, that's way, way, way high, but yeah, go ahead. Um, that, I mean, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. I mean, honestly, my broker is okay. Um, I don't even want to go into that, but, um, it's just a, not a lot of support. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, so what I'm here to really do is, is everything I just mentioned, as far as the connections that we have, the, the, the network we're building on social media, you know, the fact that you and I were now friends on Facebook, but I'm nowhere in your market. And so I'm just mm -hmm. saying that the higher your friend count goes, you might have, you might have, let's just say you might have 400 friends on here and 200 of them actually live in your area because those are 200 friends that you actually know personally. Like, but when you take right. that friend count up to 1200, when you take it up to 1500, when you go up to 4,700 friends on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook, no one's in that area. So you're Hootsuite and you schedule in a post. I'm here to tell you what I just mentioned, you know, two minutes ago, none of that matters. All a waste right. of time. Don't even waste your time on that. Because again, you're scheduling posts to go out on all these platforms when 99% of the people don't care. They're not in the area. So that's why I'm going to really, really narrow it in on where your, where your energy, where your attention, where your time should be going. And so in 2018, I ended up writing a book about all this. Um, it's titled The Social Real Estate Agent, Five Steps to Implement on Social Media to Capture More Leads and Build Your Personal Brand Fast. It's an ebook that I put out in 2018 talking about these five basic steps. So when it comes to Facebook ads or, or, or trying to run you know, lead capture, looking for the next buyer, looking for our next seller, that's what I call step three. And so every single agent, and I'm telling you, I've spoken to thousands of you guys, 100% of an agent will come on to social media with one intention and one intention only. And that's to look for my next deal. Like, let's just keep it real. Like you're going to obviously build relationships. You're going to obviously network. You're going to obviously, you know, connect with more people and, and be friends. But at the end of the day, Amy needs a deal. Like Amy is looking for that next buyer. Amy is over here on social media looking for that next seller. Bottom line, that's all there is to it. And so yeah. if it wasn't for that, you probably wouldn't be on social media with 15,000 people. You'd be on social media with the hundred that you actually know, and that's all you would care about. But because we're now exposing ourselves to thousands of people, I'm telling you, I'm going to really dumb it down and show you where your energy should be going. So here's what I wanted to kind of point out. Go ahead. I'm sorry. What'd you say? Did you say something, Amy? I think I lost your audio. Yeah, I can't, I can't hear you. Are you there? Do you feel like it's, there's issues like where the market is super saturated, like in areas like here? No. Did you hear anything I said like in the last 30 seconds? Um, I had got up to get a piece of paper. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm so sorry. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, no, not at all. Like not at all. And that's the thing. None of this is saturated once I really break down these five steps. So, so, so again, step three is what every agent comes on a social media for, and that's to capture a lead, but they forget the basics, which is what I call step one and two. So I'll just spend maybe the next 15 minutes and just walk through these five basic steps and just really hopefully some light bulbs go on and, and you really see how basic this can be. Okay. So I'm telling you right now, Hootsuite, posting all over, waste of time. Not worth, not worth it one single iota at all, at all. So, but here's the deal. Yeah, po yeah, for sure. Yeah. Posting, posting, posting about your listing, posting about your real estate business, posting about your open house, waste of time. Waste of time because all your friends, 99% of them don't even live in the area. 
Okay, I got that. I thought right? you said post mail. No, 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 no. Posting. Posting, in my opinion, in my professional opinion, is a waste of time. If we're, po if we're promoting our business, if you're promoting your business, because your business is in, I'm, I'm assuming it's Rayford, right? Is that where you're um, It's It's Fayetteville. Fayetteville. In areas. Fayetteville. Now, if we had 3,700 friends, how many of them are in Fayetteville? Not many. Yeah, I don't, I think I have my friends hidden, but I have about 1,200, I think. Yeah, so out of the 1,200, out of the 1,200, I am willing to bet, and I'll give it to you, I'll be conservative, and I'll say, okay, out of the 1,200, 200 of them, you know personally, you went to school with, your in-laws, your girlfriend, your cousins, 200 of them. The other 1,000 are people like me who are never moving to your neck of woods. We don't even live in your city. We don't even live in your state. That's 1,000 of them. So as you take it from 1,200 to 3,200, the numbers are even more mind-blowing. 99% don't care about what you're posting on your real estate business. So that's why that's, that's step three, and we'll get to that part. But I'm just kind of giving you context of where all this is coming from. I'm seeing it by the thousands. I'm seeing what thousands are doing, and I've spoken to thousands. And Hootsuite and posting every day isn't going to do it for you. So here's what I would recommend first. Here's, here's as basic as it gets. Since you are working on your branding, here's where we're at now in 2020. It's all about social media branding. Now, if you're doing anything offline, okay, great. Your yard sign, your flyer, your business card, that's, that's a form of branding as well. But on social media, here's as basic as it gets. As we connect with more people, as you take that 1,200 to 1,500, this is the intro that people see first. So obviously, as I connect with Amy, I can look at images and obviously an image, you know, says, says a thousand words. I can automatically say family woman, wife, professional, realtor. I can, I can look at images, fun, fun gal to kick it with. I can look at images and say, okay, she's a cool chick. But the intro, because you're building a business, we got to let these folks also know about our business. And it's this intro that we tend to see first. So as a consumer, I'm coming to your page, I'm seeing the intro right away. And so there's a few links that you wanna clean up and there's a few links that you wanna add. And this is what I call step one. And this is what I'm saying, how out of the thousands of agents I've spoken to and seen pages on, 99% of you have this intro confused. And so, Here's the way yours looks, and here's the way everyone's looks. Realtor at, and there's a link that is sending me straight to your broker's page. And then we got CEO, which is a dead link. That's not taking us anywhere. And then we got co-owner of this one, which that's fine. If you want to promote that link and get people to like that page, that's cool. And then we got co-owner of this one, and that's taking people there. And then we got lives from, Mary pronounces, joined, followed. None of this stuff right here, first, yeah, especially these last three are not even necessary. And whatever attention we're trying to build, whatever, whatever your number one business is, I would have that here and only here showing. So, so if, 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 the, if, the, if, the, if this household one is not our number one business, I wouldn't show it in the intro. If the junk in the trunk is not our number one business, I wouldn't have it showing here. And then, and then also okay. this, this link right here whatever our number one business. And so in this case, I'll just say, for example, I'm assuming it's your real estate business. So if our real estate business is our number one business, this link right here cannot be your brokers. This has to be yours. And so I see it time and, that's and time again. Actually our companies. Does that What's matter? That? I'm actually going to take it. That's actually the company. And I'm actually going to remove that anyways. I just haven't yet. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, for sure. But even if you were staying with them, e even if that was your company and you were staying with them, I'm here to tell you nine out of 10 of you guys would have your broker's link there just like you do. And the problem with that is that out of the 1200 friends that you have, if the majority of them are not in the business. So let's say, for example, out of your 1200, 99% of them are not in the business. 
They're not lenders. They're not title reps. They're not escrow officers. They're not other realtors. 99%. If you say, David, I'm connected with so many realtors. Okay. 1%. Let's say, let's say 1%. Let's say 120. Let's say 200 of them are realtors. But if they're not, the average person who is not in the business does not know that this is not your business page. So when you drive all the attention here, because I don't know any better, I'm thinking it is your page. I'm clicking like because I'm genuine and I want to start supporting Amy. And when I click like on their page, it does you no good. I didn't even know you had a business page until you sent me an invite because it's not showing. So this is basic. This is what I call step one. That link needs to be your, your link and your link only. Now this over here, the CEO, the junk in the trunk, those can still be listed, but those will be listed in the about section under, under uh, work and education. So as people come over here and do more due diligence, because that's what people are going to do. People are going to click about, they're going to want to know who Amy is because just like, just like you, you're on this call with me wondering who the heck David is. I'm on the call wondering who the heck Amy is. Like, I don't know you either. So, so if I wanted to really dig in and do some more due diligence, I would probably click about. I would probably see more information on who you are and what you got going on. And if we want to keep the CEO at the household, that can all show over here. But the first impression, remember, our attention on social media is so short. We're scrolling through, scrolling through, scrolling through until our thumb falls off. Our attention is so short. So drive my attention to one link and, and you better, better believe it better be yours. Right? And so this one isn't, and, and that's, that's step one. Now, as I scroll down, again, we got lives, we got from, we got married, we got this down here. Here's what's missing because we're now focused on branding but most importantly, because now we're focused on social media branding. So I come across Amy's page and this is what I see in the intro. I come across Candy's page and this is what I see in the intro. So just very, very much more condensed. She's not showing any former, former, former. She's not showing any of that. She's showing her link straight to her business page, not her brokers. So all the attention goes to her page right away. We hover over it. We can click like and boom, she has our attention right away. But most importantly, if I scroll down, I see her Instagram, her Twitter, her Pinterest, her LinkedIn, her website address. Now, I don't know Candy no more than I know Amy. But when I come to Candy's page, she just looks a little bit more credible. Gotcha. Because she's showing me a little bit more. That's all. And, 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 this, right, and, and when you look closely, which you don't even have to look that close, every single link is identical. Hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties. And so as a business owner coming into, into real estate as you are for the first time, brand new, what you need to know from a business perspective and from a market perspective is where the heck is everybody at? Where's my next client? Where's the audience's, audience's attention? The audience is on these top five platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Every past client, Amy, every existing client, every future client you'll ever close escrow on from this point on is literally on one of those top five. Now, you might have some random people that are on TikTok or some random people that are on Snapchat. Okay, cool, whatever. But as far as your market, as far as your ideal client, I'm assuming that you're working with close, you're working with clients and closing deals of people that are maybe in between the ages of let's just say 25 and I don't know 75. Even that 75 year old is on Facebook. They're not really on TikTok. They're on Facebook. So you just need to know where the audience is potentially hanging out. So when I come to aim, when, let, let's say for example, Candy. Actually, well, let me go back to you. Just because Amy and David connected on Facebook, how does she know that I don't spend 57 hours a day on Twitter? Mm -hmm. You don't know that, right? Had you had it listed, I would have clicked on it. I would have followed you there. And because we now are in a social media messaging world, I would have messaged you there. 
because that's where I'm comfortable messaging. And you just better hope you get that message, especially if it was regarding buying or selling real estate. So right. just because Amy is comfortable with Facebook, don't leave crumbs on the table by not at least exposing these other platforms because there's hundreds of millions of people there as well. Now, you don't have to be posting. So you're hoot, you're hoot suite. Forget about it. You don't need to be posting all these platforms all the time because again, as you start to grow the audience and the followers from those other platforms, not many are going to be in Fayetteville. Like not many are going to even be in your state at all. Like at all at all. As they organically find you on social media, just like I just like I organically found you on Facebook. I'm nowhere in the state. So it's not about posting on all these platforms because that's what I'm trying to get you away from doing. But what it's about is having them at least active, having them active, having them listed. And when it comes to quote unquote branding, having them all identical. So if I come across that page, this page and see that, doesn't it look a little bit more cleaner? I mean, I don't know the right word, but does that look a little different? Yes. Right? Basic, 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 basic. But I'm telling you, thousands miss it. And they're over here running, trying to run Facebook ad for their next lead when step one is, is totally missing. Now, not only is it going to be posted there, so we want to for sure list it on our personal page, but what we also want to do is go to our business page because that's where it's going to be listed as well. What's your, what's your business page? Um, I actually just updated that section. I don't know if you can refresh and click on it. It's Amy Kulach dash realtor. Okay, let me pull up the business page because all those links are going to go on the business page as well. Awesome, Amy. Good job. Good job. Now, all you got to do a, is log in to each platform. Now, these are the top, these are the other four that I'm, that I'm just highly recommending. Now, if you want to, if you want to, you know, customize your TikTok or customize your Snapchat, whatever, you could do that too. But the ones that are listed are these other four, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. And you don't have to know about these platforms. I'm just saying, customize them, customize them, get them and get them listed. So, so your brand stands out. So once they're there, you're going to log into all these platforms and you're going to customize the name just like you customized it for your business page. So let me, let me pull up your business page, Amy K U L A C dash realtor. Mm -hmm. okay, Am so I good to like go ahead and make a new Pinterest? Cause I mean, I have a Pinterest that's, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter cause it's all just, you know, plans, but yeah, yeah it's, it's all good. Use the same one, just log in, go to the settings and just customize the user name. So it's pinterest.com forward slash whatever we're using. So this that's not I, I don't know if I typed it in wrong, but let me see if I can just search it. Uh, can you go back if you go back oh, okay. Let me see if it if it comes up this way. And let's go to pages. Yeah, it's right there. The okay, cool. There it is. Okay, let me um okay, so so over here, okay. So Let's go to the business page. Now, once they're all listed right here, so look at that. That looks much cleaner. Even if you, even if you just leave it like that, that looks a lot better, yeah. right? All the attention is yeah. now on my business page link and boom, they like it right away. See, all I gotta do is hover over it, click like. Simple. But again, yeah. add those social media links. And I have a video on that. Like I'll send you a video on how to customize all of them and make it super simple for you. But once you list them all over there, and, and then also, like, for example, with mine, here's my page, right? Here's my personal page right here. There's my step one. So when people come here for the first time, that's what they see. They're like, oh, damn, he's on LinkedIn. Okay, cool. Let me click on that and follow him there. So that's all that is, is just making our, our brand stand out and capturing the attention of those on other platforms. So, but not only do we see it there, again, when people want to know who David is, they're going to click about. And when they click on about, they see everything right here. So it's right in their face again and they're clickable links. So all that person has to do is click on it and automatically they're on my profile. So, so once you add your links, not only will I see it right here, but if I click about to dig, dig more deep, I'm going to see everything right here, September 6th. And I'm going to see Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest. So, and your.com. 
and whatever name you're using. So for example, if this is the name you're going to be branding, Homes by Amy K. We're going to take that name, and we're going to customize all the platforms, and we're going to also get the .com. Make sense? I'm actually going to be changing that um, handle because that takes me to a next home properties um, listing, and it only brings up like what's listed at my firm. It's really crappy. No, for it, lack it, of better no, words. It, it, as long as you have the .com, that's fine. You can log in. Where did you get it? Did, did you buy the .com or did somebody else buy it for you? It's my dot com, but right now it's linked to our company's page. I'll yeah. unlink it one side. So yeah, it'll still sure. be my website. Okay, good. Yeah, you could totally forward it to wherever you want in the future. Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. But the fact that you own that dot com, that's what matters. And we want to now match all the other platforms with that dot com. So right here where it says more info, right when I click about, I should see Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest. And everything is honed by Amy K, honed by Amy K, honed by Amy K. So for example, on Candy's page, here's her business page. If I come over here and click about, all I see is hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties. So it just, it, it makes your, obviously everything look cleaner, but then again, it gives off one name and one name only. I want that audience to know me under one name only. And, and, and I like that, honed by Amy K. I, lo I love the ring of that. It sounds, it actually sounds good. So just make sure you have that locked on all these other platforms as well. Because the last thing you want to do is now that you own the .com, now that you have the Facebook, you better hope and pray that someone doesn't have that under their LinkedIn. Because then now yeah. I got to change everything. That's what I would do. Like if someone else has that on Twitter, I'd be pissed mm -hmm. off and, I, and it, would, it would force me to change it. Because I don't want, I, I can't have, it's my brand. I can't have someone else have it on Pinterest, right? Like, so that's why this part, this, that's why I call this step one. It's so important to lock that one name under everything before you start this whole advertising or branding or social media posting or whatever the heck, whatever you want to call it. Before you go on to that, you know, step, let's get this basic step locked down first. And so that's what I call step one, Amy. That's what I call step one. Now here's step two. Here's step two. Again. I only show you this friend count to tell you how many of these folks I've spoken to. Like that's, that's the only reason why I mean, I'm, I'm showing you that 4996. I'm telling you every single one, it's a public list. You can look at every single one. They're all agents, every single one. And so over the, and that, that's been that way since 2016. So this is step two now. What I've been receiving since 2016, so just like you on your personal page, any of your friends, they start coming over here, they start clicking like, they start commenting on, on all your stuff, you get a notification right away, right? Because I have mm -hmm. thousands of agents, because every single one of them is an agent, here are my notifications, Amy. All day, every day. Tara invited you, Cher invited you, Maria, Teresa, Lakin, Lori, Brandy. I can go on for days. These are the only notifications I get. All day, every day. Every agent in the country... Mm -hmm is clicking invite to their personal friends, to the 1,200 friends they got, to like their business page, every single one of them. And when I click on any business page, and I'm telling you at this point, I'm telling you, I've helped hundreds of clients with this. I've spoken to thousands of them. I can't help everyone, right? Like you can't help everyone. I've helped hundreds mm -hmm. since 2016. I've spoken to thousands. I've literally seen, and this is no exaggeration, I'm saying this for the record, this is a fact. I've seen tens of thousands of real estate agent Facebook business pages since 2016. Mm -hmm. Because I have these all, all these people as friends, and all they do is click invite. And when I go to their page, 99.99% of them have 100 to 200 likes. And these are the folks who came from our personal page when 99% of those 1,200 friends live across the country. And so as you start to bring these people over here and you start to post about your business and you end up wondering why no one is clicking like, why no one is engaging, two reasons. One reason, 99% of the 140 don't care. They don't live in the area. 
And they don't care not disrespectfully. It's not that we don't care disrespectfully. It's just the fact that we don't care because we don't know you and we don't live in the area. So your yeah, open house, really your listing post, that has absolutely nothing to do with me. So not only do 99% of the 140 not live in the area, but at the same time, Facebook only shows your post to 1% of the likes anyways. So only 1% of the 140 are actually seeing it when you post organically. That's why the Hootsuite and, and timing all and, and scheduling all these posts, none of that matters. It's all a waste of time. No one's seen your post. And if they do, they're not in the area. So it's very untargeted marketing. And this is what real estate agents call marketing. Posting on social media every day, going Facebook live every day. The 140 don't care. So here's the deal though. It's kind of a catch 22 because it's still that like count. It's still the most important. So just like over here on your personal page, this intro is the first impression over here on the business page. This like count is the first impression. So although you did start in October, I speak to agents and brokers who literally started 17 years ago and they have 270 likes because they've been clicking invite and it takes them forever. And when I boil it down, I'm like, hey, Stacy, those 99% don't even care. Then they're like, dang, David, I spent the last four years clicking invite. And, and, and so 99% of you guys are around this amount. This is the first impression. So when I land here, again, I don't know Amy and I don't know Candy. But when I come to Candy's business page and I scroll down and I see that number, I don't know if she started in October like you or she's been in the business for 25 years. Because when I look at 3,500, I automatically assume she's the queen of real estate. When God knows she could have probably just started in October with you. But because mm -hmm. she ran a simple Facebook ad for the likes, she took her number up a few thousand when every agent has a couple hundred. So when she now starts promoting her business, and we'll get to step three on where that promotion should be. But when she starts promoting her business, automatically she has the market's attention just because of a stupid number. That's step two. So every agent is clicking invite to the wrong people. Those people on your personal page, 1,200, none of them care. And, and, and the highest you're going to get is 200 likes. That's the highest you're going to get. It's the highest you're going to get. And so all I'm saying is you need to 10x that number. When I come here, instead of seeing 266, I need to come here and see 2,600. That's step two. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's step three and then step four, and that's all I got for you. Step three, okay. rather than posting again over here organically when no one cares, here's right here. Like these types of posts are, are really good posts, but rather than posting them organically and hoping for someone to comment, what 1000% you need to do is take that same post, the listing, the open house, the, the, the getting the buyer's attention, getting the seller's attention, whatever. And you need to be running that as an ad targeting Fayetteville and you need to do a new one just like over here you're posting every day I would say post one a week and run it as an ad targeting Fayetteville the heck with social media the heck with your 266 likes no one lives in the area LinkedIn Twitter Pinterest no one lives in your area so if I'm going to spend the time and the energy to create the post I might as well put a couple bucks towards it and run it to the people who matter. And those are people who live in Fayetteville. That's it. And so with you brand new, I'm assuming that you don't have a huge budget. I'm assuming that you probably haven't even closed your first escrow. I'm just assuming. But if that's the case, here's what I highly recommend. Where we're at now with marketing and where we're at with social media and where we're at with real estate, you absolutely have to have some type of marketing budget. So if you have to have a part-time job, if you have to have a side hustle, if you have to sell stuff on the weekend to have some type of marketing budget to run Facebook ads, that's what you have to do. And I'm not saying thousands of dollars. You need to have at least a couple hundred a month. 
you need to have at least a couple hundred a month because if it's not a couple hundred a month targeting Fayetteville, you're going to spend the next 36 months posting through Hootsuite and you haven't even got a deal from it. So the only attention, the only people who need to see Amy, not people in social media world, it's people that live in Fayetteville. And the only way that I can target those folks is through a Facebook ad. Because if I'm not going to do a Facebook ad, I'm going to have to door knock. I'm going to I'm gonna have to invest in direct mail. I'll maybe buy some leads from Zillow, which ain't cheap. Or I'll hold some kind of weekend networking event and I'll invite a bunch of my neighbors. You're going to have to do something offline. And anything you could possibly do is expensive and a waste of time. No one's offline. No one cares about your bus bench. No one cares about your picture on the billboard. No one cares about that no more. And to run a local radio ad, that's not cheap either. So to run a Facebook ad and to run one every single week, put it this way. If your husband, you're married, right? Yeah, you are married. If your husband took you out to dinner tonight, Amy, and here's a real interesting fact. This is a fact. If your husband took you out to dinner tonight, he would spend more money on that one dinner tonight than you would have spent running this ad to Fayetteville for an entire week. That's just a fact. Let's so do it's it. not the cost that is crazy expensive. It's just the strategy. Most aren't even thinking that. So right here, have you ever heard of, of the saying real estate is the biggest mistake you'll ever make in your life? No, me either, because it's not. So right here, the biggest investment, trust me, you won't regret it. Call me today for a free buyer consultation. This right here is 1,000% perfect. It's just not targeted. If you were to take this exact post, run it directly to Fayetteville, spend the 50 bucks or whatever it is for the entire week, this is step three. So step three is when you can start taking one post a week and running it as an ad, not as a Hootsuite organic posting and spraying it everywhere. Not that. We run it as an ad. You run it as an ad. That text, that image, everything, that's step three. And when you can do it every week directly to Fayetteville. So if I'm saying 50 bucks a week, okay, there goes 200 for the month. If you got to sell some garage sale and do a garage sale event every weekend to make an extra 200 a month, you're going to have to do that. If we got to get a part-time job at a, at a local restaurant, we're going to have to do that. Like something, something that, because if it's not that, then, then, then you're going to just completely waste your time. Completely, completely waste your time. So I'm just giving you the strategy on how to win in 2020. This right here is perfect. It just needs to be an ad targeting that local area. And you want to do a new one every single week. And here's, the, here's step four. Step four and step five, and then that's all I got. Here's what I'll say in closing. This would be an ad. I would see it in my newsfeed. So just like over here, let's go to my newsfeed. If I'm scrolling through, now we're going to be talking step four and step five. Step three is the local weekly ad. As I scroll through my newsfeed and I'm just seeing what my friends are up to, I'm seeing what everybody is posting, I'm seeing what's going on, and then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad. Anytime you see the word sponsored, that's an ad. Here's your text. So it could be the same thing that, that you wrote over here. Here's the text. Here's the image. Here is the learn more button. Okay. Now I would focus on one topic. Again, the strategy step three is to run a weekly Facebook ad targeting Fayetteville. And, and I would stay on topic. Either we're going to educate the local audience on buying or we're going to educate the local community on the process of selling. And you have the right idea with a free buyer, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't give away. I wouldn't write this. Call me today for a free consultation. No one knows you. So no one's going to pick up the phone and call you right away. No one even knows you. 99% of the 266 that are seeing that post, we don't even know you. And, we're, and at the same time, we're not even in the area. So I don't, for sure, I'm not going to call you. Like no one's going to call you. What I would rather do, what I, if I were you, what I would rather write is click learn more. Here's the learn more button. So again, it would be an ad. It'd be targeting Fayetteville. And there is the learn more button. So in the text, it's not call me today. It's click learn more to download your free buyer guide. Click learn more to download your free seller guide. 
So now we run this post as an ad targeting Fayetteville, giving away non-aggressively a free download. And once they click on learn more, because again, this is how it looks. There's the learn more button. This is how every ad looks. They click on learn more. Then they go to what I call step four. And I'm taking them straight to one page. Step four is what I call a landing page. Step four, 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Yep, it's free. I'll also send you a step-by-step -step plan to getting started. It's not a website. It is a web page. Step four is a web page. So it goes from targeting Fayetteville to offering a free download, a free buyer guide or free seller guide. They click learn more. They come over here, get my 10 tips here. They click on that. That's how you capture a lead. Step five, now that I have that email, I'm going to email them and nurture the conversation and nurture the relationship and nurture my list all via email. That's when that email starts to receive daily emails from Amy. So if you were offering a seller guide and you were targeting me and I saw you in my newsfeed, I don't know you. I'm not friends with you on Facebook. I don't like your business page. I don't even know you have a business page, but all of a sudden I'm scrolling through my Facebook. You happen to live five miles away from me and I see your ad. I click on it. I come over here. I enter my name and, e my name and email because I'm interested in selling or I'm interested in buying. And very non-aggressively, you're giving me something of value for free. It's a PDF. It's a digital download. So automatically, I enter my name and email. Send me your 10 tips. Now I am on your list. Tomorrow, or actually right away, that email is going to trigger. So step five, and this is what I'll say at the end. This is, this is it. Step five is your email automation. As that email comes into your pipe, and as that email gets opted in, right away, automatically, that email sends out the email. Hey, David, this is Amy. Here's your download. Click here to download now. Thank you so much for opting in and requesting the 10 tips. Hey, and by the way, if you're interested in selling or if you have some random questions, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule a strategy call. Can't wait to talk to you, Dave. That's an automated email that would have went straight out. Tomorrow, because now you have my email, tomorrow, an automated email goes out. This is step five. Tomorrow, another email goes out. Hey, Dave, this is Amy. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know yesterday you downloaded my free buyer guide. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about the importance of being pre-approved and speaking to a lender first? Here's what I meant by it. And it's a simple email that you would have pre-wrote that went out automatically. Hey, and by the way, Dave, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. Two days later, another email goes out. Hey, Dave, this is Amy. Just wanted to follow up. I know a few days ago you downloaded my free buyer guide. Hey, guess what? Remember on page nine when I was talking about debt to income ratio and making sure your FICO score was over 700? Here's how to get there. And you're just given a free, now, so now it turns, it, 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 it goes from a, from a conversation from me promoting a free consultation call to me now just giving them a buyer guide. I don't want to talk to anyone until they're, until they're interested. So when people start to see your post for the first time, they don't know you. That's why the strategy step three is to run an ad every week. That's branding. So if I could take my image or if I could start doing this in video form and I can start targeting Fayetteville every single week before you know it, that whole town's going to know who you are. That's from a Facebook ad. And at that type of budget today, Amy, in marketing with you being brand new to real estate, there's absolutely nothing as effective and there's nothing as inexpensive as targeting Fayetteville with a Facebook ad. There's nothing you're going to be able to do at all, like at all at all, to get the attention of that local market. So I know that was a ton, and that's kind of all I got for you. But does that kind of make sense? It all makes sense, and I'm like eager to, to do it. Um, I When I did my um, ad the other day, it flagged it for the targeting. So I don't know what I was doing wrong if anything they, they flagged you for not complying with the housing rule that new housing law that facebook has so if anything it, it would have been rejected because of that it would it would definitely not be rejected because of targeting at all because um now let me ask you this did you do the did you try setting up the ad from your cell phone um no i did it from my computer okay 
Now, did you do it from your business page or did you actually do it from the ads manager back here? The ads manager. Okay. So when you're back and here, I, the, what's that? Go ahead. I was going to say I could sh show you, but I mean, okay. Yeah. That's yeah, what oh, it looks I, like now. Okay. So, so as long as you click on that green button and you come over here to the setup, this is where all the magic happens right here. Step one, step two, step three. And so as you're over here, let me go to, actually, let me set up a whole new one because this is a, an existing one. This was Candy's that I was working on. Let me go back to, actually, that's Kim's that I'm working on. I'm working on a few different ones. But let me go back to the ads manager. Let me uncheck the boxes real quick. Actually, I can open it up in this one. As you come into the ads manager, let me go to ads manager. Okay, cool. Okay. As we come to the ads manager, like, yeah, and then, and then, you can get here multiple different ways, but an easy way is click and create, click, click, create, and then go to, go down to add, or you could just hit this drop down and go down to manage ads and that'll bring you to the, to the ads manager. So yeah, doing it from your computer is definitely a good habit of what you want to, want to, want to get used to. A lot of people try to do it from their cell phone. It, it's easier to do it through here. So when you come in here, click on that green button and 100% of the time you have to be checking this box. So as I come over here, and also, by the way, here's just an added bonus. What many, many people do, whether it's a real estate agent or any other type of local business owner who's actually running ads, what a lot of them try to do is they try to set up the ad, but they choose the wrong objective. So when it comes to setting up an ad, there's three steps, campaign, ad set, and ad. The campaign, the objective is the most important. And it just comes down to what you're trying to do. And in your case with real estate, I would assume that you're looking to capture a lead. If that's mm -hmm. the case, it needs to be conversions and you're taking them to a landing page. If you're not taking them, like I have many different landing pages, like this would be for a listing. So if you're, if you're promoting a listing, you're bringing them to a landing page where there's only one button and that's how you capture a lead. Now that's a landing page. Some people don't have landing pages, but if you do have a landing page, the ad is conversions. If you don't, or the objective, I should say, the objective step one is conversions. If you don't have a landing page and you're still looking to capture a lead, then you can do lead generation and that's when you use Facebook's landing page. So okay. a lot of folks will try to go traffic or they'll try to do engagement or be, or if it's a video, they'll do video views and they'll run video views and they'll spend 50 bucks and wonder why, and wonder why no one, you know, they didn't capture a lead and no one commented or no one messaged them about it because it was video views. And, and, and when we have a video, we would logically think, okay, let me get the entire neighborhood to see what we're doing. But that although that might be the case we want everyone to see the video but at the same time i need some leads so it wouldn't be video views even though it's a video it would not be video views if we're looking to capture a lead it would be conversions or lead generation but what i'm really trying to say my point is is that no matter what you go with this box needs to be checked that's the okay. only reason why your ad would get rejected yeah, I saw that. I think I went back and checked it and then, but I think mine was, the one I set up was for page likes. I, I Googled like a, um, like a tutorial and it had me do some other stuff and then it had it broke down by like 18 to 65. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, yeah, for sure. You're going to get, that, that's going to get rejected or it's not going to perform at all, like at all, at all. This box needs to be checked for sure. And if you haven't ran that like ad, you're going to spend way more than you need to. Like what, what's your budget? Here's what I would easily propose for you. What's your budget? I'll run the ad for you. You just pay for it. And I'll kind of tell you, I'll give you what I'll, I'll, I'll kind of just set your expectations on, on how many likes like you can expect. Like um, what, what's our budget? Let's look at it for I a month, like for the month. Like what can we run on, on the like ad? That's the number one ad. Before we go capture leads, it's the like ad first. Okay, so, so I have 125 in there for that. Okay. If I put 125 towards that ad, I would literally, let's go back to your like count. 125, if I ran that ad for you, I would literally have that number at 1500 by, I don't know, what's today? Today's, I don't know, what's today? Today's Thursday or Wednesday. I'd probably have that number. Actually, you know what? 125 would literally have that number 
at 2000 by next Thursday. Okay. And that's literally all you would need. Like I, like, although I'm showing you candies and she's at 3,500, I'm here to tell you every agent is at 200. So it's not like, you, so you don't need no more than this. Like if you just took that to 2,200, like, or, or let's just say 2,000. If we took that to 2,000, call it a day. That's all you need. No one in the entire state of North Carolina will have that many likes, like at all. And that's a fact. You might find one out of freaking 10,000. So that's, that, that's a one-time ad. That's not an ad you're going to keep running at all. After that ad, then you focus on lead capture. But by that time, we're going to have a highlight count. Okay. So that's why step one, listen all the links. I'll send you a video on that. Step two, taking that like count up. And then step three would for sure be local lead capture. And then, and then that's it. That's it. But I, and, and by the time we get to step three, like that could be a whole nother call. Like I'll help you, you know, start running some, some local ads. Like, and again, in this case, all I want you to do is give me a good review. So I'll run the ad, just hook me up on a review, you know? Okay. I'm actually going to put some of this into place for the junk in the trunk. Cause that's my husband's business. And I'll go on his page and leave you a review too. Cause you oh, helped me awesome. vote. Up. Yeah. You're, yeah. That's super, super cool. Okay. So here's all I got to do. Cause I got to go, I got, I got like two minutes. Here's all I got to do. Go to your, go to, are you on a computer right now? Yep. Okay. Go to your business page. Okay. Go to your business page and then um, let's leave this page. And then you're going to click on, let me go back to, yeah, you're going to click on settings. Actually I can get through it from here. Okay. You're going to click on, um, settings and then to the left you're going to click on actually you know what let me let me let me request it first because you might not see it right away let me request it and then so just give me two seconds i'll request because all i'm going to do is i'm going to request access to the business page so i can run that ad tonight and we'll what's that oh no you're fine I, my child is what do you have boy boy girl what do you got i have a five-year-old boy oh my gosh i have a <laughs> I have a 12 year old boy and then my wife has an 18 year old boy from a previous marriage. And then now her and I, we have a, a, a little girl who's about to be two. Aww. And then we have a little boy on the way. That's going to be here next month. Aww. So Holy crap, Amy, like I have my hands <laughs> full. Okay. So click on settings. Now you should see it now. So click on settings and then, and then click on um, page roles to the left. Okay. And then you'll scroll down towards the middle of the page and you should see respond to request. It should say yep. inspired digital and just follow that through. And then you'll put in your password and that's it. And then I'm going to email you a, a quick video. You could watch it later, but it's like a 12 minute video showing you step one, like how to customize all these links. Okay. So right now we'll just focus on that. Let's focus on getting all these links customized and listed. Let's focus on this like ad over the next week or so. And then I'll email you and then, and then whenever you want to jump back on and, and start targeting local ads for lead capture, I'm always up for a call for that. Okay. So just let me know when you, um, it should be good. You should be good. Unless okay. I have to assign the roles. No, you shouldn't have to do that. Just, just give okay. access. So let me refresh my end. We should be, we should be, okay, perfect. Yeah, we're, we're good. So all I got to do is add myself to the page and then we are good. And then um, let me <clears throat> click assign. Okay, cool. And then just give me the card, whatever card I can use for the ad, either Visa, Master or Amex. It should be, st it should be stored in there. Actually, I won't be able to see that side of it all. I'm going to run it from my, from my end. Okay. It is, um, a visa. Oh, okay. you know what? Hold on, let me get Business account. And then I'll email you an actual receipt as well. So you'll be able to keep that for your record. And this is just going to the business page? To send this, is going, this is going to be running from your business page. I'll send you an actual email. I'll send you a snapshot of the ad once we're live tonight. So do I need to take that 125 off there that I already have set up in there? No, just turn it off. 
Okay. That's yeah, just shut it off as soon as possible. Yeah, it's already off. Cool. I'm sorry. I know you got to go. I'm just looking for my card here. No, it's all good. Can I message you the info? Because I'm, I got to find my card. Or you need I kind of... I oh, kind of would. Okay. It's um, 4599.